Sure. Um, I would just say that we're still learning in Jordan, uh, and as we're continuing to be engaged with them to support the government of, of Jordan in, in their journey in assessing the COVID impact and using our research findings to help the government respond to COVID and plan a successful recovery. But what comes out of Jordan is a story of initial uh, huge success in controlling the spread of the disease with a very strict lockdown and a continued resilience in the face of, uh, in, in the face of continuing uncertainty and, uh, in, and the ma major macro shock. So Jordan started very strong in term on the epidemiological side, having suppressed the spread of the disease in the first five months. And it was an outlier compared to all other countries. Um, they had a very strict lockdown in effect, but also they had a selective uh, way of keeping their major economic activities going on. And that's how we see that uh, they have a robust export base that uh, went down only 2 to 3% in the first seven months of this year compared to last year. Um, that our work also included supporting the government of Jordan as they uh, tapped into uh, global capital markets in June and uh, their bond issuance was oversubscribed six times and they had favorable terms. So that was a very timely intervention. Um, having said that, there are still uh, micro uncertainty, uncertainties as <clears throat> we heard from other countries. Um, we still don't know what the path to recovery of the tourism sector will look like, and that is an important sector in Jordan. And we're still assessing the uh, effect of COVID on remittances, which are also important in Jordan. Um, and Jordan has entered into their first wave of, of COVID infections now, uh, showing that this challenge keeps evolving and uh, the, the, there won't be a sustainable uh, solution until there is a vaccination uh, program. Um, I would summarize, I end this with saying that we have an on, uh, ongoing work with the government of Jordan and the IMF to work towards a, a plan for sustainable long-term recovery and growth in Jordan. And we're also looking into the evolving opportunities uh, that the country can have a comparative advantage in um, and start developing and tapping into them to capitalize on their high skilled labor force and, uh, and, their, um, and their ability to attract uh, high skilled services that can be done remotely.